Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. <laughs> My apologies for the terrible lighting. This is just the most convenient place for me to film. If you guys remember, I did a video of me like eating these Harry Potter's Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans. I'm not scared to try this because this, I know what vomit tastes like. If this tastes like vomit, I'm not going to enjoy this taste at all. Oh my gosh. Ew. I'll put the link of that down below if you really want to watch it. It's a long video. I was just trying these really odd flavored candies that were probably also a little old. And that was fun. That was an experience. I actually did enjoy making that video though, even though my reactions uh, were not very pleasant. Wow, this is really gross. Holy crap. That one's actually the most gross I've had. That actually tasted like vomit. Holy god, that's disgusting. But it is what it is. They weren't good tasting, but it was fun to try them anyways and make a video about it. And today I have some new candies slash foods that I will be trying. One of which, if you can kind of see it here, is oat milk. I feel like this has been kind of blowing up a lot lately. Like a lot of people have been drinking oat milk. People put it in their coffees. People just like drink it and mix it with like cinnamon and stuff. Like make it fun, which is cool. Um, I'm not lactose intolerant, so I normally don't drink like substitute milks like almond milk and soy milk and rice milk that kind of stuff but like i do enjoy them i don't mind the taste a lot i know some people are like very much against like almond milk for example but i actually really do like almond milk a nice almond milk latte that normally is pretty good my dad bought this oat milk i guess for for him i guess he wanted to try it i figured i'll make a video of me trying this along with a couple months ago my parents i don't even know who they got these from but like these candies that are, I believe, from like Malaysia, I want to say, or Thailand, someplace like that. But they're like these hard candies, that, um, and there's like a whole bunch of crazy flavors of them. Figured I would try them. I grabbed one of each flavor that they brought with them. So I'm going to try those um, and the oat milk. Obviously not together at the same time. They don't really go together. Also, I'm not going to like be sucking down every single candy because that takes a while. I'll probably just like try it for a little bit, see the flavor, and then like spit it out. Move on to the next one. Yeah, we'll start here with um, the oat milk. We have the nice silk oat, yeah, oat milk. I know making oat milk and like almond milk and soy milk and that kind of stuff wastes a lot of water. It's kind of weird how they make these. You should look up a video like on YouTube or something of how they make like oat milk and almond milk. I watched one about how they made almond milk once and it was really weird. And I was just kind of like, huh, that's odd. And it kind of looked gross, but I still like almond milk. I still drink it. And um, so yeah, I'm going to try this. Give it a go. Oh yeah, let's go. do that just in case I don't like it. All right, so here's my nice lovely glass of oat milk. It looks a lot like almond milk and I'm sure it probably maybe tastes similar. I don't know. I don't really know. When I think of oats, I just think about oatmeal and oatmeal I like, so I probably won't mind this. So bottoms up. Oh yeah. That was good. Honestly, it tasted like almond milk. Like, I can't tell any difference between that and almond milk, quite honestly. So I would just say this tastes just like almond milk. Um, nothing wrong with it. It's good. It's fine. It probably would be good if, like, you put it in a latte, like an oat milk latte. Or, like, if you... I saw my mom, actually, the other day. Put, like, cinnamon and nutmeg in it. Kind of make, like, a horchata kind of thing. That would be cool. That would taste good. But, yeah. Um, I figured I would like it. I didn't think I wouldn't like it. Oh, so, yeah. Oat milk. Let's see. Out of ten... I'd give it an 8 out of 10. I mean, I'm a big milk girl. Like, I like me some nice whole milk. I even like raw milk. Fun fact, I used to drink raw milk back in the day. And I'm a big dairy person. I really like dairy. Um, So because of that, I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10 just because I prefer actual dairy to this. But, I mean, as far as milk supplements go, oat milk's not bad. 8 out of 10 tastes like almond milk, and I like almond milk. So, yep, good stuff. Oh, yeah. All right, so here's where we get to the section of the video where I probably will not be enjoying the foods that I am trying uh, that much. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Let me show you the lineup of our flavors here today. Here we have our fighters. We have um, green tea here, ginger, coconut, guava, lychee, salsa, corn, tamarind, and this one just says hot. I probably already know off the top of my head that I probably won't enjoy any of these um, just because I don't like lychee, I don't like guava, um, I don't like ginger, and corn sounds weird, and tamarind I don't like, so that'll be great. And this is like the artificial flavor version of those, so probably won't even taste like the real thing, but will just taste like a bad off-brand version of the real taste of these things. So 
that's great, but I'm excited to try them anyways. I'll probably like suck on them for a couple seconds and then spit them out once I get the full flavor and then move on to the next one. So let's see how this goes. All right, so I'm gonna start here. Let's just start with salsa. What's up? Um, let's see how this goes. I wonder if it, yeah. Let's see what the what we have here. So it's just this little yellow with a stripe. Kind of looks like a like a Mentos almost, or like a pill almost. It's weird. Not really what I expected salsa to look like. I thought it'd be like red maybe or something. Let's try it and see how it goes. It's actually pretty good. It doesn't taste like salsa. I'd say it almost has like a, a mango flavor, which I actually really like. This one's good. I like this. Salsa. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't taste at all like salsa. Like, like I thought it would taste like the salsa, you know, that you like dip your chips into, you know, tomato and pico and all that. But this straight up actually just tastes like mango flavor. Unexpected, but I'd give it probably an eight out of ten. And the flavor's not like amazing, but it's not bad. And uh, it's definitely better than I thought it'd be. So yeah. Good stuff. We're done with salsa. Let me cleanse my palate. Lychee. Um, I've tried lychee like once before a long time ago, but I remember not liking it. So, I mean, who knows? Maybe my palate's changed. Maybe now I like it, but I have a feeling I won't bring it out there. All right, lychee is a different shape. It's kind of more like cylindrical. See that? So let's try lychee. Mm -mm. Nope. Yep, I don't like lychee. Nope. Not a fan of that. Bad. That's bad. You ever had lychee? I don't really know how to describe it, but... I think it's a fruit. I might be wrong when I say that. I'm not a fan of lychee. That just tasted bad. Not a fan, that gets like a zero out of 10. Next up we have corn. This one doesn't even have words on it. It's literally just a picture of, of corn. Let's, let's give this bad boy a go. That's so odd. It doesn't taste good, but it does taste like corn. Wow, that's odd. I don't think I've ever had artificial corn flavor. That's so odd. That didn't taste good at all. Better than the lychee, I will give it that. That was just weird. Wow. It wasn't totally terrible though. I'd give it five out of 10. It wasn't amazing, but it wasn't It wasn't um, super terrible either. It's just odd. So, so far I would still say salsa is my favorite. Um, corn second and lychee last. Um, so next up we have guava. I don't like guava. Here's guava. It's green and lumpy. Kind of looks like a booger. It's not bad. Better than corn, better than lychee. I, mean, I don't like the taste of guava, so it wasn't like amazing, but it wasn't it wasn't terrible. I'd give it maybe like a six out of 10. Still not amazing just because I don't like the flavor of guava. The next one's tamarind. Oh my gosh, this thing's like super stuck in here. Ew, it looks like a cough drop. All right, here's our tamarind. This one's not bad. Kind of tastes like those um, caramel candies, you know, the Werther's original, with like a weird aftertaste though. I would give it probably a five out of 10. It wasn't, it wasn't bad, better than I was expecting it to taste. All right, now we have ginger coconut. Um, probably won't like this cause I don't like ginger. Also, this one is big. This is huge. Look at this guy. This is our biggest one yet. Uh-uh. No, no, nope, no, nope. That touched my tongue for like 0.1 seconds and it's a no from me. Nope, that was gross. I'm trying to debate if that was worse than lychee. I'm gonna actually say that one was probably worse than lychee. Just don't like ginger flavor. So that one's definitely the worst, I would say. It's also still my number one, surprisingly. I was not expecting that. I thought maybe it'd be green tea. It was actually the next one we're gonna try. So maybe this one will be my number one. I really like green tea. It's good. It's too sweet, but still good. Believe it or not, I still think I would say salsa's my number one. Give it a seven out of 10. And now we have our eighth one of the day. This one is straight up just called hot. So, apparently hot's a flavor, just hot. Maybe it tastes like coals, burning coal embers. Maybe it tastes like the taste of smoke, I don't know. Maybe it tastes like the sun or lava, I don't know. But hot is a flavor now. It's so PSA, hot is a flavor. I've never even tried cold. I would assume, honestly though, that it has a spicy taste. I have no idea. I like spicy food though. Uh, this looks kind of gross. There's no hot. This didn't even have a flavor. Oh, I'm disappointed. Zero out of 10 would recommend. Not a fan of that. So these are my final official rankings. Number one, salsa. Number two, um, green tea. Number three, guava. Number four, tamarind. Number five, 
hot. Number six, corn, seven lychee, eight ginger. I don't like ginger flavored, that's gross. All of these were genuinely kind of nasty. Wouldn't eat them again if someone gave them to me, any of them. Um, even salsa, even though that was my favorite, it still wasn't really that good. Um, I mean, I didn't really go into this expecting that these would taste good. It was fun to try them. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm gonna vomit, thankfully. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Um, and if you wanna see me do more videos of me trying weird foods that aren't candy either, or oat milk, which was just completely random in this video, but uh, if you wanna see me try other weird foods, you can comment the foods down below and I'll try them. But yeah, that was, um, those were weird candies. That's all I gotta say. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.